Hey, what's going on to you, Libras? So you have the Ten of Wands, the High Priestess, and you have the Ace of Swords right here. So for you, <clears throat> for you, Libras, um, the Knight of Wands really is about, excuse me, the Ten of Wands really is about walking away sometimes, but it also represents a new height in your own spiritual development, physical development as well. So there's definitely a sense Right. And then you have the high priestess and the ace of swords. So there's definitely a sense of how a lot of you Libras got a lot going on behind the surface or under the surface, I should say. But at the same time, you're not really telling anybody what's really going on with you. You're not letting people know about the difficulties that you've pretty much had to deal with within the past, I want to say, month or two. And that's pretty much something that's probably going to go with you when you make the transition. Right. There's definitely a sense of like growing up and not necessarily telling everybody everything because, you know, when you do that, that's when it is that, you know, people take the time to betray you. So the King of Cups and the Fool is about how, uh, but you're moving forward anyway. You Libras are definitely moving forward. There's not, there's not a need to really be in a position where you have to, where you Libras always have to have all these friends around you and romantic interests. Because a lot of you Libras bounce from, when y'all are going through it, y'all can bounce from romantic interest to romantic interest because the relationship doesn't work out for whatever reason, right? This is why it is that I say that the planet Venus, even though I, I like, I love the planet and everything like that, right i've done studies on it right my for my own personal self uh i understand what the planet is and the planet can represent not necessarily what it is that you ex expected it, it to be right for anybody who's ever watched the series hercules uh, right hercules the legendary journeys with kevin sorbo shout outs to kevin uh, sorbo by the way but regardless of the who to what, right, his his sister, Aphrodite, right, i.e. Venus, would always make the most unsuspecting people be in love with one another, right? And she would be laughing, right? And it's like, yeah, because, you know, because it's like to be a Libra, like I said before, it's like, how is it that you attain something that you want so badly, a, 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 a very good reciprocal relationship where the two of you have fun and also the two of you grow and the two of you still make a decision that you want to be with each other still throughout time and and that's kind of where the catch-22 is it's like how do you create something like this especially in the world where a lot of people are so materialistic anyway so you still continue, you Libra still continue to move forward regardless. The Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is about, and because of the fact that you Libras decide to move forward, this is the reason why, um, you know, this is the reason why people will still continue to be attracted to you. But again, it's a matter of perspective. Because I, I, I'm seeing that around this time, a lot of you Libras are like, well, what exactly is it that you would really want more? Says the emperor, right? Your opposite zodiac sign, Aries. It's like, what are you, a lot of you Libras are like, okay, well, what are you even doing this for? What are you fighting for? What are you trying to actually accomplish that's meaningful, that's valuable to you? And that's something that a lot of you Libras have asked yourselves probably for your whole life but you know now you're you're resuming that question and because of the fact that you're resuming it you're realizing that you know perhaps you may have a little bit too much going on with you so over the, in the next course of i want to say a month or even longer than that right i don't really like to give time periods on anything uh you're going to be doing some spring cleaning, you know, some spring cleaning. The two of wands and the uh, seven of pentacles, there's definitely a sense of, but also being very aware 
of freeloaders, people that just want to be in your life. So there's, there's definitely a sense for you Libras of making things simplified, right? Making things in your life a straight line you know, uh, a, a straight line, just simplistic as much as possible and not a whole lot of extras, you know? Yeah, you can have extras, of course, right? I'm not telling you to, to not, but making that more of a rare thing as opposed to needing to always have extras, right? Thrills, novelty, you know, every time somebody needs to give you... Um, butterflies in your stomach and stuff like this, you know, even when you're getting to know them. If you can't get the butterflies, this is what creates a lot of couples to end up breaking up in the first place. So let's clarify the seven of pentacles. Okay. So seven to clarify the seven of pentacles, we have the three of swords, the nine of cups, the strength card, the Ten of Swords, and then you have the uh, Seven of Pentacles. So to clarify, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups. Um, I think, well, I know the last breakup that you Libras have had really put a lot of things into perspective for you as to what's important. You know, I know, I know some of you Libras personally, and, you know, and I know, uh, some a lot of you Libras have lost a lot of what you what you cherished, and now you have to reevaluate. Like I was just talking about the things. What do, what like what do you have? What actually does work for you? See, this is one of the reasons why you're the opposite sign of Aries. What does work for you? You know what actually does work for you for real for real. And then you have the strength card and, and then you have the uh, Ten of Swords. So this is about how you uh, Libras, how disciplined are you at actually getting it? Is it that you're saying that you want this newfound level of status or putting things in a different perspectives for you? Or is it that you as Libras claim that you want it, but you're not actually willing to put in any kind of work for it? So. That's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow. So please make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. And uh, there's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website where there's ways to you get a private tour, for you to get a private tour reading from me, birth chart readings, as well as the books that I have that are on Amazon. Peace.